Hello there. So it's time for our coloring page for tonight. We're on day 41. And we are very, very close to Christmas Day. And so we are continuing with our coloring series. And tonight we have these beautiful bells. Not sure how I'm going to do these. I thought about it like just make all of it silver, girl, and just do something here. That's what I thought about. And I might do that. All of this be silver and do something here and then do something pretty here. So we're still looking at it and thinking about what we're going to do. We're on day 41. It's Friday. This paper under here is just so puffy, puffy in the middle. Friday. And it's December 22nd. It's almost Christmas Day. It's the last weekend before Christmas. Some people are shopping. Some people are putting up Christmas trees. Some people are... You know, getting ready for whatever the meal going to be. Some people baking cookies. Some people not doing anything at all. They like humbug. You know, that kind of thing is happening. But we yet right here and everything. Let me turn these lights over here a little bit. I've been working on some school stuff all day. Listen, I got these pillows right oh, up underneath my feet. So this tripod is kind of in the way. I'm going to try to move it. Let me move it before I start, y'all, because for whatever reason, it's not set up correct. And I'm not sure what's happening, why it's like this tonight. But I tried to get it going, but then it was just not working out for me. And I said, you know what, just scoot up close to the table and just let it be, you know, between your feet. Something like that, but... Clearly, that's not working. So, now, are we going to go with silver all over the bell? Because I was not thinking about coloring all of that in some kind of way. And then you see how this one is? And then this one is different? Like, do we have two different kind of bells going on? That's what it looks like. So, how are you going to make that, you know? Baby, I wasn't sure. All I knew it was two bells, and I thought about... You know what I thought about. I only had to sing and tell you because you already know what I thought about. If it's Christmas time, you know what I was thinking. And so, I'm trying to understand what's really happening with the pattern of it and everything. You know these pages be throwing me off when I be looking. I be like, well, what are we doing right here? Well, what is we doing? Okay? Because the circles be always somewhere. Like, why we got these circles and ain't no snow? But is it snowing in the background or something? I'm not sure what's happening with that this night. But let us try and go with these things down here and see what we can get going down here first. Because I'm not sure what to say about the two bells when I look at them and they, they clearly, I said clearly, look like they're two different designs. Like, why would somebody make that like that? I don't really know. Can anybody help me think about it? Because I don't know. It's like, you put these circles everywhere. I've been calling them snow the whole series. And it's okay, because, you know, for most of the pages, it's been fitting for me to say that. But I don't know, you know. Are these attached to, you know, I don't know. Y'all, I can't even say what they attach to. You know, maybe it's some type of door hanging or maybe it's, you know, a wall picture. I'm not sure what they had in their mind when they were designing it. Because why would you make the two different bells? I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm trying to understand where we're at with the whole thing. I don't even know what this is. I'm just coloring it red and letting it be that. Because, you know, we got to start somewhere. So we just ran over here with this red that just glides right on out of this pen. Okay. You can watch this ink literally come down because it just glides out so easily. Okay. So now we got that part. 
And we know we're going to do these poinsettias red with some kind of gold or yellow or something in between. All right, so listen. These bells, they get ready to be silver, okay? Because I don't really, why, why? Just why, y'all? I know, I, why? Okay? Maybe they say you put two big pretty ones together and put this beautiful bow on it and make it all kinds of colors and it's just lovely. I don't really know what to make of it. If I had these like this in here, then I could do something with that. Or if I had this, something uh, the same somewhere. Okay, but we got two of them here. And I don't know what's happening with the rest. And this is almost that, but we got... This look like a set of teeth. I'm not real sure what... Okay, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to just let it go. Let me see where to stop at, because now I'm going to run down to the next bold line. i got to focus. I know somebody say, well, dang, you should have just... No, I couldn't. It was just too much, and I didn't understand what was happening. If I had looked at it when I was putting it together, I just looked at this and thought it was both. I didn't examine the page. I'm just seeing this tonight. But this is already in my little lineup for my pages because, you know, we did the priest because the service is about to happen. And then we had the angel who came to make the great announcement. And, um, you know, now we got the bells chiming because it's getting close. Okay. As I've been saying all along. If you watch the series, you'll see that they kind of flow right into Christmas Day. That's what I tried to do in pulling the um, pages together as I was setting out to do this all the way through January the 5th. I was like, well, let's just kind of make it a real series type of thing that, you know, can kind of make some kind of sense and not just random coloring. So I kind of try to give it a little bit of story based to it or something. I ain't sure because I'm not a storyteller in no way. You know, some people are gifted in that area and they, you know, are great at telling stories and things like that, but I don't have that gift. So a lot of times I just talk a little bit and then I don't talk at all and I just keep on coloring because, you know, I don't want to be rambling and not really know what I'm talking about. So, we just add what we're saying and, and just be quiet. That's the end of it. And since I don't know what these spell doing or what they, you know, supposed to be, I don't know. We'll let them be two random bells that are both silver. They have different patterns and this pen has glitter. And so, just put them up. They're fine. Just two silver bells and they they are glittering and amen. That's all we got with this tonight. I might try and do something around this part here. I'm not sure yet. But let's just get the bells done. I think the angel came out real pretty. I wasn't sure how to handle that because like the paper is white and we can't really color her clothes. But I think she turned out nice. I think she looked real pretty last night. So, we'll see how these bells turn out. Maybe they'll turn out really pretty, too. I hope that they will. I probably could have put that red string, of, but you know what? Never mind. I probably could have put that in there. Now, let's see. Should we go... Yeah, we should stop here because then that gives, okay, stop here. It almost went on down to just right there, but it's right here, I guess. I was listening, not listening really, but I was watching my video 
on the masterboard that I was creating. The masterboard part two. I didn't watch part one all the way. I watched some of it, but um, that part two one have a lot of um, disturbances in it where people walking by. I can't control that though. You know, I, my whole setup is in my living room and it has to be in my living room because you cannot have a home-based business in a sleeping space or relaxation area of your house. And um, my internet connection is not that great in my basement and neither is my um and neither is my lighting so although i have some ring lights i need some better lighting in the basement and when i used to do videoing down there um, it always causes my phone to auto adjust and so not a good area so i can't do too much about the background except to apologize when i get a different house um then it'll be better but you know nothing you can do about people walking by in city traffic because i live in the city and you know the rescue teams be coming by and sometimes it's just a lot of traffic during the course of the day and um you know people just walking by in the neighborhood and stuff like that nothing you can do about that kind of thing you know trash man collecting on the uh, main thoroughfare you know it's a restaurant at the end of my block a little carry out restaurant and um and so they are collecting the trash periodically during the week and so and you can never tell when that's going to happen when i'm getting ready to do a video so i was just like you know people either understand and get it or they don't you know, and nothing else you can do about it. <clears throat> so, I just let it be what it is. Just let it be what it is. Now we have some silver bells, okay? I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to handle the rest of it, but, you know, I almost feel like make the whole thing silver and leave it alone. The last bells that was in a page that I was coloring. I did them silver and gold. And so I'm wondering, should I? Hmm. Maybe I might leave that ribbon white and just do these circles silver because I'm not sure what to do here yet. Maybe this will tie into all of what I just colored all the way in on the bells and the ribbon can be white with silver. Looks all right already to me, so hopefully it'll be a good thing. I'm not sure what to do with these outside circles. I don't know what they was thinking about when they were creating this, but... I was thinking about I would like to create, I said this in a couple of videos, my own coloring pages, but more so for color background ephemera. But guess what? Um, what I understand is it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to be looking at all this stuff. And it's really graphic design. And you got to know that you can handle that kind of workload and you know, stay on it. Because it's easy to be like, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. And I already know that I'm not a computer person, so not sure how that's going to happen. I'm not a computer person at all. I use it for what I need it for at the time that I need it. And other than that, I don't even be on my phone. I be on my phone watching um, junk journal videos or sermons that's teaching or preaching the word of God and I'm only watching certain ones of that because you cannot eat from everybody's table so that's where I'm at with it I don't, I don't do I don't do electronics well I'm okay with that I'm a paper person 
I'm paper and pen all the way. And that's what I like. That's what I grew up with. And some people, technology and computer and, you know, all this advancement and everything. I ain't mad at them. That's what they do. You know. But when it came to the days when I was coming along and you had to be able to keep books and, you know, file and do all of that kind of thing, you know, have legible handwriting and be able to spell and all that. I was into those kinds of things and I still am. So that's probably why I love the junk journaling so much because it's all paper and it's all, you know, as Pam at the Paper Outpost says on YouTube, Pam at the Paper Outpost, she said, are you playing with your papers? Do you hear them calling your name? Right, that kind of thing. And I love it. I wish I had enough money I don't have to work. I can just stay home and play with my paper. You know, it's not so much of playing with papers like you just, you know, not doing anything with your life. I was talking to a a neighbor of mine this this evening, a little while ago, an elderly um, neighbor of mine, and and I was explaining to her because I need some magazines, and I was asking her. She was like, "I just took a whole armful to the beauty salon on Tuesday this week, so that the ladies can enjoy, you know, something in their pastime." And I was like, "It's no problem." And um, so in saying that, I was um, telling her, you know, about what I'm doing because she was like, well, what do you need them for anyway? What are you doing? What are you up to? And I was telling her, I just wanted to do that because this had one and um, I was sharing with her and she was saying, oh, OK. So she said, I'm going to be on the lookout and I'm going to talk to one of my um, girlfriends who probably has some magazines and I'll get them for you. So I said, thank you. But she was, you know, just saying, you know, are you just going to be doing it as a hobby or, you know, are you doing more? And I said, no, it's my hope to, you know, do more. There are a lot of people who are into the junk journaling and they um, have Etsy shops and um, they sell their things there and people actually buy this stuff. It's a big deal, junk journaling. It's as big as, you know, scrapbooking for some women or quilting. It's very big. So I love it. I love it. I do. I just don't have enough time to do it, especially now that I'm going to work. But I'm going to be doing it. If I have to do it in a whole week to do one book, you just do a little bit every day. Till you finish and then you start your next one. That's what I'm going to be doing. I imagine that's how everybody else do it. Because they work. You know, people have jobs. So, that's where I am with it. Should I use this red? I don't have to use red. Um, In the middle of that bow. Maybe I should use silver. But I think it's getting all together. Because I got that ring. And I got these bells. Um, should I, um, let's use blue, let's use blue, we used blue last night with the angel, I mean, I'm running out of colors, it only can be purple, or maybe it can be this, this rose, but this, sometimes this look like, I don't know, it's not really a Christmas color, it's more like wedding, I don't want it to look like wedding. I want it to look like Christmas. Um, so you can only use green or red or blue. Um, purple is okay. Purple is okay. This is a neon. A little neon. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah. That's that one that we used on that baby sweater. We don't want to use that color either. Um, I'm trying to choose. This is a bright, bright green. I ain't want all the greens to run together because I got to do these and I got to do, you know, these things here. 
So uh, I guess. I guess. I don't know. You can't undo it, so you might as well be okay with it, right? Okay. That gives it a little bit more. Alright. Okay, so... What to do down here? I don't even know. I don't even know what to do down here. This is a glitter black. It's supposed to be gray, but it looks like black. Okay, all right, so I close that up a little bit. All right, now all right, now. I don't know what to do with the bottom of the bell. Let me just work on. Oh, Dick, I didn't pay attention to these. Okay. Okay. Let me just start here. I got so many green ink pens left, man. I got so many of all the pens that I bought except for red. I mean, I got a few reds, but, well, I think. Let me see. It's not that many red, probably about eight or more, seven. I might have bought a pack of red that's in the drawer too, I think, I ain't sure. I forgot, but I know I got a whole pack of blue and I got a whole pack of um, gold and champagne gold and all of these greens. I got a whole lot of them. But I got some other adult coloring books, but man. I'd be sometimes, I'd be just, I guess, doing the most. But <clears throat> excuse me, when I first started coloring, I was like, this ink going real fast, and it was, but I didn't bought all of these pens. But it's, it's okay. We'll use them up. Might take a minute. We'll use them up. I think in totality of all the pens, besides the ones that I returned, I got a credit on the ones I returned for like $8 and some change. And so the ones that I bought, that I kept, um, I probably spent $20 on all of them. Yep. On all of the extras. I only spent like $20 on all of them. So that ain't a whole lot of money. I mean, it's $20 I could have bought a couple pieces of clothing with or something. But somebody said a couple pieces. Yeah couple pieces because I shop at the second hand store the thrift store most of the time <clears throat> yes they have very nice clothes that people already paid a lot of money for or maybe not and uh, you know people have been sharing with the world like that for years and I share like that too when I clean out my clothes in the spring I'm getting ready for the summer and when I'm packing things up for the summer because it's over right 
all the seasons, you need to go through your clothes as you pack them away or taking them out. You know, some things you can fit, some things you can't, some things you can fit again, some things you don't want anymore, like that. And I, I know, I know, all kind of people out here that just throw the clothes in the trash. Like, I don't want this no more, and they just put the clothes in the trash. I don't even understand that. I mean, it's, it's okay for things that are worn out and or ragged. Some people don't know how to sew. And some people are not even interested in sewing. The zipper broke or whatever. They don't even know what to do with it. They just throw the whole thing in the trash. But sometimes you can send that kind of thing. Not even sometimes. If it's still wearable, you can send it to the thrift store. Because people know how to alter and fix things. Some people know how to take a broken zipper out like I do. I know how to take a broken zipper out if I need to. Depends on what it is and, and do I want to, you know, do something like that. But people know how to do that. And for people who don't, they know people who are seamstress and know how to alter things. And then there's a such thing as the cleaners. But some people just, they don't care. And they just put the clothes in the trash. They don't want to take it to the Salvation Army or a local thrift store or even the clothing box. They got these boxes all over the streets um, where you can donate books or clothes or housewares and stuff like that. They just ask you not to put glass in there, you know, or things that can... You know, no liquids and, and creams and stuff that's going to be, you know, just dumped in there and then it can ruin the items that people are donating. But some people don't care. They just clean out and just dump like you deal with it. And that's what it is. It's dumping. But anyway, I was just sharing that, you know, for the money I spent on the pens, I could have bought a couple pieces of clothing or I could have bought something for my cats like some more cat treats or some litter or something like that and I got all of these pens left but it's okay too because again I'm getting ready to go back in the classroom when school opens back up in January and so I can also take some of my gel pens and when my friends have uh, free time they can um, they can draw and write in color and things like that so it's all good it's all good now these things look like they gray first they was wet and they look black but now they dark gray it's like, okay. All right. Yeah. So I just learned um, yesterday when I went to the school I'm going to be working at that the particular classroom that I'm going to be working in with second grade. I am now going to be their fourth teacher this school year. That's pretty incredible. For whatever reason, I don't know. But it's my hope and prayer that God will take me through and bring them through and that can be a help to them to the uh, children and help get them along through the rest of the school year and uh, remain with them until June. That's my prayer, that they can get some some learning done because they, they've been learning something, but it hasn't been very consistent. So, we'll see what the Lord does. I 
I'm just thinking, I don't want to take a job or a position nowhere that's going to stop me from being able to keep working on my YouTube channel. Cause this is what I want to do. This is what I like doing. But I'm not getting paid for it yet. I'm not getting paid for it yet, so I need to get some kind of finances flowing. Because that which I had put aside and put away and all of that, it's gone. It's not all the way gone, but I need a job. I needed one before now, but I bless God that I ain't have to go to work right away. I was glad about it. I had a long break and I'm glad. I had a long break. I went to school every day last year. I did. School is rough. It is not an easy thing. School is rough. And it seems to be, you know, getting worse, you know, from the younger grades. It used to be that it was just, you know, like a challenge with the middle school and high schoolers because high school think they're already adults when they're not. And middle school think that they're high school when they're not. But somewhere along the line, Somebody came up with a brilliant idea and said, let's make middle school. And it just kind of displaced the children. It just displaced them, really. In my opinion, that's what happened. So, the kids all over the place. All over the place. I'm going to add this red. Not that I really want to, but I'm going to put it here. I keep thinking about it. I don't know. But I keep thinking about it like something needs to be there. I guess. We can't undo it now because we've already done it, right? So, I think... I'm going to treat this background like it is the bottom of that leaf. So that hole is now open. come back and do the poinsettia. I was giving to do it, but I'll come back and do it in a minute. Um, See y'all hear that? That was my heat running. It's the blower. I was looking at that space right there, trying to determine is that just from where the holly leaves are setting out? Is that some kind of something? But I guess I figured it out. Okay, we'll come back in a minute. It's looking nice. Let me get this is like a green only but I'll put this in here. I don't really know. First I was like, do I make these all red with that? I wasn't sure. I think I could have, though. I think it would have been alright to make them red. But I said, just go with the gold. Just go with this gold here. I'm 
I'm going to the school tomorrow on Saturday. The principal, I wanted to go in there today. I was in there working in the classroom yesterday. I went to meet the class. Some of the friends didn't come, but um, I went to meet the children. And when I walked in the classroom, I was like, oh, Oh, all this guy come down in some kind of way. And they was like, oh, okay. There's certain things you got to keep. And I was like, okay, we'll keep the certain things. But the rest of this got to go. So I worked in the classroom. I got there at like 1245. And I went to the classroom probably around 1255 or 12. Yeah, about 1255. And um, I stayed there until 6.20 last night. And I wanted to go back today, but turned out that the um, the custodian team did not come in. Well, one came in. He said he was coming around 4, and he wasn't going to be in there that long. So I was like, well, I ain't got no cars. Could be, be getting dark at 4 o'clock, so I'm not going around there. At no four o'clock, so I let that go, and I said, "Never mind." So he told me I can come on Tuesday and Wednesday when he gets back, but I can't go Wednesday because I'm going to be taking my cats to the vet. But I can go Tuesday, so I told him that, and he said he'll call and let me know what time he's going to come. But he only going to be there three hours, so I was like, "Okay." Those three hours can help me get something else done. The classroom is finished. I already cleaned it up and I changed um, all of the boards, all of the, you know, science, math, social studies. The only one I didn't change was the um, ELA board. But I think when I go in there, I'm going to change it. I'm not sure, but I think I am. So it's like they had these boards up. But because I guess they keep changing teachers or whatever, you know, some stuff didn't have nothing on the board. It was just there. And I just want to add some stuff so it looked like it's a learning environment. Like even if they're not, you know, well, they're going to be learning because I'm going. But I'm just saying if they had some things on the boards, they could at least look at it and write it down or draw or something. I don't really know. I don't know what's been happening in there. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And I just want to go and help do a little bit that I can do. Okay, y'all, speak to me about this, okay? Now, is this, yes, it's the same ribbon as that, right? But, I mean, is it the tail that's coming off and it's falling behind there? Why is this right here? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to see if y'all can help me out. Why, why is this one right here? What does it go to? So when I, all right, so it's a swirl. All right, so I see it's one, and then it's two, and then it's this, and then it's swirling, and it's coming down the back, and oh, it's two. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't really know what's happening. I didn't see this one, but okay. Let's just keep going, because I don't know what's going on. I'll just give it your hand. I was like, well, wait. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. So this class of friends that I'm going to be with in January, um, they busy and they be walking out of the class. And one, one person told me yesterday, you know, pointed out a student and said, you got to really pay attention to this one because they disappear and be gone and you don't know where that person is and they be gone for a while before you realize that they're not in the classroom and they come 
walking through the door. And it's almost like, it's almost like, you know, the class, I get it. I get it. Like somebody was saying, how you miss a whole child all this time? And it's because you got a whole class full of children who don't listen. And that's what it is. And some people don't have great um, classroom management. And then some people have it, but it's only but certain things you can do because they're not your children and that's your job. And I get it. And I, I had a situation happen like that before. I worked at another school in 2014 and they hired me in December of 2013, just like this. Man, I just saw that just now. Oh my goodness. They hired me in December 2013. I applied for the job in September or the last part of August. It might have been September. And they never called me back. It had to be August. They never called me back. And they called me and I had an interview. And it was for um, December the 18th. And they hired me. And I was to start in January, on January the 6th. And, um, see, school start, but that was private school. So, I mean, we're going back on the 2nd. But back then, in 2014, school started January the 6th. But, um, anyway, I, I went on. And I was, you know, just working in that classroom and back there in that school, I don't want to do this one yet because my hand already got all the silver stuff. Um, back then, the teacher for that classroom had gotten sick or something like that. So she was out and she wasn't coming back that school year. So the principal, the principal hired one of her friends. She got her friend a job, and her friend was an older lady, you know, in the same group. They in the 60s and stuff like that, right? And so the, the person was good for being an adult in the classroom and whatever she was doing as far as teaching and all. I don't know because I wasn't there. But um, what I came to understand is that the children, she loved the children and the children loved her and they treated her like grandma comes to school. And so that's kind of what that became in the classroom. So it was no real classroom management there. And it took me, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, it took me from January, February, March, April, it took four months. It was the beginning of April. We was like two weeks or something like that, maybe two and a half weeks before we were going on spring break to get that classroom of four and five year olds in line. It took a long time. I went home crying a lot of days and I'm talking about crying real tears. And it was because it was so sad that the children were so out of focus running around and not listening and talking over each other. And, you know, it, it's only but so much you can do. And it was just, you know, it was just me needing to take the time to um, like somebody say, ain't no way it would have took that long for me, but, you know, maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe it wouldn't have. I, I felt like I needed to just take the time to get to know them and establish my way at the same time. So I was having parent conferences and I had, I called an open house uh, meeting for my parents. I mean, open house had already happened, right? School been open since August at this point and it's January and I'm calling an open house. Like, I'm like, talking to the principal, I need all of my parents to come to this meeting like an open house because I need them to know that you, your support is needed. We need you to focus on your kid, know what's been happening in this classroom, and um, 
and how you can support me in it because the, the, no four-year-olds should be like this. And you had a couple, you might have had about maybe, it was 15 of them. And maybe it was a good four, maybe four. Yeah, maybe four that was not a problem at all. And I could name those four, but I won't. And um, and it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy, you know, because they, you know, some of them would be just at a point where other teachers would just come and check on the class. And they would take some if they catch them, you know, doing certain things because I'm new, right? To the class and to the school. And they would say, you come with me, you come with me. And then at some point in the, um, in the chapel meeting that we used to have, I just was like talking to the principal, excuse me. And I was like, I appreciate, I appreciate all of the support from the staff who has been already in place with this class because of their not having a teacher, right? And I, I appreciate it, but I need them to stop coming to my classroom at this point because it's it's not leveraging um, the idea of the children have a stable teacher. Listen, I stayed there and I was in place. I'm not making these no darker. I was in place and I stayed there until their summer program began. And then it was about time for school to start again before I resigned. I had to resign because things got a little frisky with the pay and I didn't really know what was going on right there. And I talked to my pastor and he said, uh-uh, you can't do this like this because the integrity is, you know, compromised here when it, you know, gets to this place. And, you know, if this is what you're experiencing, you can believe that that's not the situation with the hierarchy, so to speak. So um, I put in my resignation. But when I say I had those children, I had them in check in terms of they understood who I was and that um, I was present. And, you know, the parents all thanked me and they was just like, oh, my God, like, Miss Howard, you really just turned this whole classroom around and all of the teachers were applauding and they was like like you should have been here at the beginning of the year because I was like well I was where God had me at the beginning of the year and um he brought me here when he brought me here and so I feel like just sharing that I hadn't even seen that right and now just sharing that just now was just like oh and maybe that's what I'm getting ready to be dealing with. And it's like, in 2014, y'all know how how young I was? I wasn't 55 like I am now. So, it's like, okay, Jesus, you know all these things. So, I trust the Lord. I don't know what to do with this. I might just leave that white and don't even mess with it. Because I don't know, why is these two different? I'm not sure. But meanwhile, I'm going to put this gold up in here. Because silver and gold is part of Christmas, right? Sure. And so, it's like, I didn't even look at that. But I'm about to go around here and help the friends around here in this class. Listen, I told the friends yesterday who were there, I was talking to them and you know, it's like, you're listening to her and you're listening to me. And when I come back in January, I'm going to be here when y'all come back. I'm going to be here every day. And y'all not going to like me. That's what I told them. Because, you know, it's not because I want to be mean or anything like that. But because they need structure. We all do. Adults need structure, just like children, and none of us like it. None of us like the structure. 
but we that's how we've been created. We've been created to need, want, and desire structure. However you want to put it. You can want it or desire it or need it, but it's true. That's how we've all been wired. That's how God made it. And so, you know, order is necessary. And so, that's how it is. We have to. I want these to be darker. I wish I had that that other green. I used to have a a pea green that was like, you know. I don't know what color to make these. I'm going to make them silver. Because they don't have to be green. I was getting ready to make them gold, but I'm going to make them silver. I might make some of them gold. Pull the whole page in. Um, so... That's what's giving happen. It's like, wow. And coloring this page, all of that just came out like that. And I hadn't even looked at it because I um I just I didn't even see it like that. I just saw it like I'm just going around here to the second grade class. And that class that I'm talking about in twenty fourteen, um, they were five and six year old. They were five, and some of them turned six by the time school ended. They were on their way to the first grade. I said this was a kindergarten class. A kindergarten class. It was It was rough. It was rough. They were loud, <clears throat> talking all over top of each other, walking around the classroom, not completing their seat work. They was doing all kinds of stuff. Five years old. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had never seen anything like it. I said, oh my God. I didn't even know this kind of thing happened in such low grades. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but then the school that I worked at last year that my grandson went to, I saw that even in K-4, even in K-4 preschool, it was like that. I was like, this is not good. <clears throat> this is not good at all. And it might have been happening that way for ages. I don't know. I ain't been a teacher for ages. But, you know, it's just, it's rough in the schoolhouse today. I'm just saying, <clears throat> private schools have a whole lot more control, and my teaching background has been largely in private school sectors. So, I, you know, I wasn't accustomed to the things that I was seeing in the classroom for, you know, that kind of situation. And even when I say the 2014 group of kindergartners, that was a private school. That was a private Christian school. I don't know what was going on. But I came from a private Christian school in Georgia. That's where I started. Well, I started in a Christian daycare here in Maryland. And um, I worked there near two years. And um, then I moved to Georgia and I worked in a Christian school. And I had 15, I had two, I had 10 students, 10 in my classroom. And then a lady who had a group of 15, she had the front room. But the lady who was in the middle room, she had a group of 10. And I had the back room which was overflow, and that was a group of 10. But the lady in the middle classroom, her and her husband relocated from that part of Georgia where we were living in Decatur 
they moved to a different part of Georgia. So she left. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I um, inherited her class because I was, you know, right there at the back room. So I just told my um, director then, I said, just, just let's put all of these two classes together in the back or right here in this middle. And she said, you think you can do it? And I said, I can do it because I'm here every day. They know me and I know them and I can do it. And she trusted me and um, the Lord was with me and I did it. So I had 20 and then the 15 was up the front. And then those who were excelling, um, it was two, they moved them to the front group. And um, and I had 18. And then one transferred out and I had 17. And that's what that was for a whole year. So <clears throat> then here in Maryland, I always had 10 or 12, not more than 12 until 2014 when I got those 15. And this class that I'm getting ready to get, I don't know how many children are in there. I'm going to find out tomorrow. Um, but the, um, you know, like a behavior chart that they have hanging in the classroom that I'm trying to see, do I want to color this some kind of way? Um, it, it's, it showed by number 17 names on it. So I wasn't sure if that's the real, um, total of friends for the class. But I said, man, I forgot to ask for a roster. But um, the principal, which was how I got on this whole conversation in the beginning, she texted me earlier today and told me that she's going to be in the building tomorrow from 9 to 1. And if I want to come, I can come. So, I, hey, I said I do want to come. So I've been working on the rest of the things that I want to hang up teaching materials, you know, because I believe that children should have things on the wall that, um, that, uh, call their attention to learning, even when they're not being taught. So, I mean, you got to have something up. You got to have something up in, you know, some, some classrooms or whatever, schools, whatever. They, they only want you to have up the things that they want up. But children need all these other things, too. They need to be always looking at something, you know. And they can't. Honey, I walked in there and I took the, <clears throat> I took one paper, a big chart paper, off of the center of one of these, you know, bulletin board kind of things that we talk about, right? And it was one chart paper and it was in a list the same way we write our lists as adults. And it was kind of in cursive, okay? I ain't really sure. But it was numbers zero. Well, it didn't start with zero. It started with one to 20. And the word was written out in cursive or something. Or fast slant. I ain't sure what it was. And I said, oh, that ain't no good. How they looking at that? It was on yellow paper or white paper with black marker all together in a list line. I said, okay. So I had to redo all of that. So this is my page for tonight, y'all. And I hope you enjoyed watching this page come together. Um, clearly, I didn't do the background. I'm leaving this part as it is. And I didn't do these because it's just too much. I don't really know what to do with that right now. And I'm not dealing with the snow. So we right here. This is day 41. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope that you'll join me tomorrow for day 42. And um, we're getting closer to Christmas. And I will see you then.